There was a question from Mike, or a request rather, um, to do a demonstration about how do I make... How do I make these play along videos in Band in the Box? It's, um, it's very easy, but it's got a couple of tricks that you probably need to know about. Um, so the first thing to know is, you know, I usually use this interface in Band in a Box, which is the original interface with all these um, these banners and everything. And then the newer interface is, is is this one, where you've got less of the of the banners and stuff in the in the top, and then um, the the chords area is bigger. So the first thing to know about making the videos is that Band in a Box will use this layout to produce your video. So you, you have to um, set up your display so that you like the look of it in this view. I hope that makes sense. So if I go Options and Preferences and then Display Options, you're going to have to mess about with these areas here, choosing the font and the, the, the number of rows and, and um, all of those to get something that you like the look of. I have got two schemes saved. So I've got one scheme for, that I use for my videos, okay, which um, has got fonts and number of rows and the, the height and things of the actual, um, of the lyrics and of the chords, you know, of the, of the chords and stuff. And I like the look of that. So that's what I use to make my video. You can see that the, that the, um, the lyrics are nice and big and the, the, the chords on, are nice height. They're not huge. So yeah, you're going to have to mess about with those display options to get it looking like you want you want it, okay? So I will set up a scheme uh, specifically for that display, okay? And then once I've loaded that scheme, I go back to the traditional view. Alt T, Control T, Control T. What am I doing? There we go. And then I just press the video. I don't worry too much here that it doesn't display nicely because um, I know that it's going to use the this this view when it produces the video. And I just press this video button and say render video. And then you pick up the chord sheet and you literally dump it there. Okay. And you just press render. And um, it'll take a little while to render. So you just need to wait and be a little bit patient and it will render it to um, the, whatever you name your file here. So I'll just show you what it looks like. If I can find the file. Sorry, it's somewhere over here. There we are. Um, so once you render it, this is what it's going to look like an mp4 file and you see it it looks exactly like it looks exactly like the full screen uh, this full screen um, display options that you had in band in a box and then I basically just upload that video to YouTube and then it's done so yeah that that's really it it is as I said it is a little bit tricky to get your display options right um, but one recommendation that I can make is that once you've got it displaying like you like it, just make sure that you save the scheme and name it appropriately so that you can bring it up every time you need to use it. Um, Mike, I hope that helps and I look forward to seeing some of your videos.